welcome back to Dragon Age Origins. We are still here in the little village of Lothering, and we have some more quests to do today. Last episode, we helped this Kunari warrior named Sten. He was in that cage back there, and we freed him, and now he is a part of our company. And we also recruited Liliana, who is back at camp because with ranger because we can only have three people following us at this at a time so she had to stay behind so now um as of the recording of this video only one episode has been released on the channel actually so i'm only just finally um getting to read your guys's comments on the first episode and a couple of you guys or at least one of you had told me that you can change weapon sets easily and in the middle of combat by going to the item wheel and then what advanced so we got talents and this just shows all of your spells and stuff like that is this way i could use see how i only have six available slots on my quick menu here if I go here, I can see all of them, or more of them at least, and I can actually use them in combat, even if they're not in my quick item. Same with my sustained spells and talents. Um, quick heal. I keep forgetting that quick heal is there, and I always go into, po into potions. This is where you can change your party members on the fly. You can open your inventory on the fly if you want to. So... Ah, I can do it. You guys, look at that. You know what? It's really strange because I actually Googled this. I actually Googled this when I decided I wanted to play possibly a rogue that does both uh, sword and dagger and archery. I actually Googled it. To find out how to do it, <clears throat> excuse me, because I'd never figured it out when I was playing it in the past, and I wondered if there was a, a something I was just missing. And everything I checked so many different places where people were asking the same question, and every every answer I saw was no, you can't. The only way you can change weapon sets is in the inventory, and also everybody said that you couldn't change them during combat. But apparently. A lot of people don't know that you can do this. That's amazing. <laughs> Thank you to whoever it was who told me. Sorry, I don't remember your name. But whoever told me about this. I appreciate that. So now we can actually, let's, let's actually try it. Let's, let's go to the bow. Whoops. Let's actually go to the bow and uh, try it. Try the bow. In our next, in our, in our next uh, quest, which Mindless are creatures, wolves. Very well. Yes, and then we have fire arrows. While we're no it's, uh, oh, that is a lot of wolves. That is a lot of wolves. I'm not sure how much damage I'm doing. Alistair is... Okay, somebody's down. Who? Stan is down? Oh, Stan, come on. Okay, so now that they're after me, I need to switch. What is that? I can. I can do it in the middle of combat. Awesome. Look at Alistair over there. He's killing all those almost by himself. Ooh, finisher. Nice. Stan! Dude, you're the biggest and strongest of us. You shouldn't have gone down so easily. And now Stan is... Uh, whoops. Now, Say what you must. Now Stan is going to be injured. And so... Well, actually, let's take a look at his injuries. Wrong button. Because I think, if I'm not mistaken, this might be the first time anybody has had an injury no I think I had an injury 
earlier. Crushed arm. How do you have a crushed arm? You have so much metal on your arm and a wolf bit you and crushed it. Wow, man. That, so that affects your magic, which isn't really that bad for a warrior because warriors don't use magic. Um, but we'll heal him up. We'll heal him up anyways. We might as well. Don't want people to be walking it around done. with uh, a... <laughs> He's so angry. Or just tough, maybe. I don't know. Ah, uh, this is the boy's mother. The boy's mother who, uh... The little boy that we saw at the bridge. Yeah. Hmm. We recovered her keepsake. Hmm. Which she apparently had tied to her leg. What did we, what did we get from her? Shall we take a look? Oh, it's a ring. A copper filigree ring. Awesome. You know what? I forgot to equip. So we had the mud idol equipped, which is cold resistance. Which isn't that great, but it was the only one we had at the time. And then I bought this amulet of a cord and completely forgot to equip it. But we also have the warden's oath, which gives us to constitution. Hmm. I'm going to equip the amulet of accord for now. Um, let's give Ah. Alistair has a runic worry token. Wow. Let's give Alistair the mud idol. Just just because somebody should wear it, yeah. Okay, now we were also supposed to be hunting bears. That was another of our quests, was to hunt bears. So let's let's do that. Let's switch back to the bow and see if this new, um, um, where are the bears? Let us dispatch them, and There's quickly! One. I shall do it. Whoa. Okay, Alistair. They're after me. It looks like Stan already killed one. Alright, there we go. So, how much how much am I doing? How much damage am I doing? I'm not sure. Oh, Morrigan. Okay, well, it's hard to tell because everybody else is, is doing damage at the same time, and so I can't tell which numbers are actually mine. But those are the skeletons of those spiders. Which, yeah, that's kind of dumb. Spiders. Oh, they're not skeletons. They're just shriveled up corpses. Oh, that's kind of cool. I never noticed that that happens. Because last time we were here, these spiders were nice and plump and new, and now they're all shriveled and dried out. This is just despawning immediately. That's pretty advanced for an old game like this. I... I, uh... I thought things just despawn. But they don't. And also these guys right here, these uh, bandits that we killed before, they're all bones now. Where they used to be, you know, f just regular bodies. There's that again. Landmark tree. Yeah. <sighs> that's from the, yeah, that's for the dog. <laughs> Alright. Any more bears? Where are the other bears? Um... Uh, there's a bunch of people here. We don't know what was said. You're a warden. I don't know if you killed King Kalen and make her forgive me. I don't care. But that bounty on your head could feed a lot of hungry bellies. Oh. Attack! You're just an enemy, enemy lies ahead. Oh no. You're seriously? You're going to Okay, I need to switch weapons again. 
shall be done. Very well. You guys are just gonna attack us. Oh, I leveled. I keep missing. Why do I keep missing? Alistair leveled as well. It's begun. All right, they're stupid people. <laughs> we just had to kill what seven guys from Lotharin, which is like almost half their population, because they wanted the bounty on our heads. Grey Wardens. Two Grey Wardens, a Kunari, and a Mage with armor against those guys. Yeah, pretty stupid indeed. Elfruit and a chest. It is over. A short bow. Okay. Well, we have level ups. So let's get to those, yes? Oh my gosh, I keep pushing the wrong button. I'll just never get used to that, apparently. Okay, so let's do this first. Ooh, we have a specialization point we can unlock. So... Or do we not? It says specialization points one. Does that mean we can unlock one? Assassin. We get plus two dexterity... Plus two and a half critical chance percentage. The, the assassin finds any notion of fairness, a quaint ideal that has no place in combat. Poisons are their weapon of choice, as are crippling strikes that inflict persistent wounds on their foes. As killers, assassins are a marvel of stealth and efficiency. Hmm. Doesn't really sound like us, does it? Bard, a specialization bonus, plus two willpower, plus one cunning. Bards follow an Arlesian tradition... Acting as assassins, spies, saboteurs, and following other secretive pursuits in the constant and sometimes petty struggles between nobles. Having taken the minstrel's art to new levels, bard skills, uh, bards are skilled performers and master manipulators. Bards can inspire their allies or dishearten their foes through song and tale. Hmm. Ranger. Specialization bonus plus one constitution plus five nature resistance. Rangers have an affinity for open country and wilderness, but as independent scouts and militia, they are opportunists, not stewards of nature. They exploit every advantage of their environment and can lure wild beasts to attack their foes. Interesting. So when we unlock a specialization, it gives us more... Um, it gives us more... Uh, talents. It gives. It opens up a new talent tree, is, if I remember correctly. Duelist. Specialization bonus, plus two dexterity, plus one damage per hit. Duelists are deadly combatants who prefer to fight in light armors and strike with light but precise attacks. Experienced duelists have preternatural reflexes that allow them to evade their opponent's clumsy blows as well as strike with remarkable precision. That might be more along the lines of what what we're kind of going for here. Other than that, maybe ranger. Um, definitely not assassin or bard. It would either be ranger or duelist, I think. I think you can only choose one. I'm not sure. You might be able to choose more than one, but I, I don't actually know. Now, um, if we go over to Alistair, you can see that he has um, a specialization of, and it is Templar. His specialization is Templar. So see, he already has one unlocked. And warriors can also be a champion, they can be a berserker, or they can be a reaver. Hmm. So. And I believe, I believe that Liliana's specialization is bard. Because that's what she is. She's a bard. Um, hmm, I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure. I might save this. Um, for now. We'll see. I'm going to think about this for a little bit. So let's 
let's go forward here. Um, let's put another one into Constitution. And... Hmm. One into Willpower. Hmm. Actually, let's do Dexterity and Cunning again. We need to those to be the highest because those are the, the most important for rogues. All right. Um, combat movement. I'd like to get combat movement. Um, I haven't done stealth because I haven't really felt like I needed it. Hmm. Don't have any more dual weapon. But you know what? Actually, now that we have the ability to switch weapons, or have we, we have discovered the ability to switch weapons, maybe we should work, uh, think about archery. And maybe melee archer might be a good one to do so that we don't get interrupted when we're being attacked. Yeah, why don't we do that? Let's put a few, let's put a couple points into archery for now. And then, actually, maybe we could do a, a dual, not just a dual wielder, but like a triple wielder, I guess you could say. We've got, we use three different weapons, yeah? And then we can get some activated um, ones later, but let, let's for now get this melee archer one. Indeed. All right, let's, let's level Alistair up. So, um... I definitely think he needs more constitution and hmm, cunning. I don't know if, let me see. Uh, Comet here's, nah, I don't think we need to give him any cunning. Let's see. Willpower, let's put it in willpower because they, that's that's based uh, on your stamina your stamina or rather i should say is based on your willpower and he definitely needs some taunt here we go i want him to have taunt because he needs to be able to draw foes away from everybody else um yeah let's do that now I'm going to take a quick look at Alistair's tactics. <clears throat> so we have five tactic slots, if any. If any. He has t five tactic slots now. <laughs> I was reading the word any when I said that. Yeah. Um, I just want to make sure... Let's change this to... Mm. taunt instead so when an enemy is attacking the main character he activates taunt this is just a way to try to draw um, the enemies away from me <laughs> and hopefully that works I don't know so anywho there we go Okay, so now we have two quests on the map. Let's take a look at what they are. We need to return this one quest to the Chanter's board. Huh. And then um, that's to leave. To leave the area. So we're not ready to do that yet, though. So Okay. And I don't know if they're going to have any more quests for us um, at the Channers board once we turn this in. They might, and they might not. If they don't, then we will be done here, more or less. Um, I will want to check the stores one more time, make sure that we've bought everything that we want to buy and sell everything we want to sell. Let him take notice and shine upon thee, for thou hast done his work this day. And the stars stood still, the winds did quiet, and all animals of earth and air held their breath. All was silent in prayer and thanks. Ah, 
Does that mean there are going to be no more quests? <laughs> yep. Okay. We did them all. We did them all. So, let's go talk to this guy one more time. <laughs> Don't suppose you're looking to buy something. Indeed. All right. Just don't buy everything up. All right, so we've got some stuff to sell. I still haven't equipped this dagger. My gosh, my memory is just the worst, isn't it? <laughs> and um, Oathkeeper. That's new. I don't recall seeing that before. Um, let's sell the short bow. And, um, we don't need, how do these compare to my gloves? Cured hide, mine are rough hide. These are better. I'm not going to sell these. You know what? <clears throat> Before we sell stuff, I should probably take a look <laughs> at, er, take a look at what we need to equip and stuff like that before. Uh, so, uh, this dagger, mm, it's actually, oh yeah, duh. Wrong weapon that I'm comparing it to there. I was like, that's really not any better. So it is actually not as good as the one that I'm using, the enchanted dagger, because the enchanted dagger has plus four attack the critical chance is a little bit better on the Elven Dagger. Dar Misu, or however you pronounce that. Um, but the damage isn't as good. Armor Penetration is a little bit better. But it's got plus four attack. Hmm. I don't know what to do now. You know what? Maybe I'll give it to Liliana because I want her to have um, melee as well so that she can, you know, if she's being attacked um, to attacked by melee enemies, I want her to switch from her bow to her daggers and she needs to have a good dagger. So I'll give that to her. I'm going to keep the enchanted dagger. Okay. This great sword, is that better or worse? Oh, definitely not as good as the the chastened blade even though the chastened blade is tier three and its damage is more it's a little bit more critical chance is a little bit more um but it's got plus one melee critical chance plus armor penetration so that kind of probably makes up for it so we're gonna sell that oath keeper um yeah whoa whoa that has a rune slot it's a lot better. Mm, plus 10% to healing effects received. That's nice. Where did we get this weapon? I don't recall where we got it. It's just suddenly in our inventory. Did I pick that up somewhere without realizing it? I'm going to equip that. And I might give Alistair the family sword. He's using just his um, default weapon. But the family sword is better. Alistair, you can have the family sword. Take good care of it. <laughs> Alright, now let's take a look at armor. Um, I'm wearing rough studded leather gloves. So now we have cured leather gloves, which are better. So let's, let's use those. And... Uh, yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for me. Um, I don't think... Heavy chain mail. Is that... It is better than what you're using. And he can use it now. Oh! Wow, Alistair, you can wear the heavy chain mail now. Maybe you always could. Did I decide not to have him wear that because it breaks up his set bonus i can't remember you guys he gains a bonus to armor if he wears the splint mail set the chain mail does 
It boosts the character's spells or talents. Alright, the character's spells or talents cost less to activate. Cost less stamina is what that is. Um, hmm. I think maybe I was waiting until I found a heavy chainmail set. I believe I was. That's what I was doing. Now, um, okay, so Morrigan is wearing the Enchanter's footing. What is this? Ancient Elven boots? That, yeah, those are heavy armor. Okay. Well, they're medium armor, but gee whiz. 22 strength for medium. Hmm. Okay, Morrigan. I mean, I could just, I could go ahead and put Morrigan in this, but it looks not like her then. Like, it just, it's wrong. <laughs> it just looks wrong to me. I think Morrigan needs her robes. Even though they don't give any, any kind of um, armor protection. But I did put on the Enchanter's footing, which gives a little bit of armor protection. Not a lot. Um, I thought I gave her gloves. Yeah. She's also wearing some gloves. Studded leather cured gloves. I believe those are the best gloves that we have for now. Okay. And... He's got the heavy chainmail set. We also have a Kunari thickened cap. Which I suppose we could give him. Oh, so he can wear the ancient elven boots. He has enough strength. Although that will break up his armor set. That's the problem. Yeah. Let's not do that. Okay. Okay. There, I think we're set. Now I can sell stuff. <laughs> don't suppose you're looking to buy something. All right. Just don't buy everything up. Okay. All righty then, you guys. Oh, that's a nice dagger. Tier four. It has a rune slot, but... I don't know. I don't really want to spend the money on that. I want to save money for things that we really need. Yeah. Oh, do they have... They have chainmail gloves. No, wait. It was um, heavy. Heavy chainmail boots uh, that Alistair needed. Yeah, it doesn't look like I have the same the whole set, though. And buying that would use a pretty much all of our money because they're really expensive. Um, I wanted to check and see if he had any um, recipes. Yeah. He doesn't have any healing recipes, unfortunately. Hmm. We'll have to go see if Barlin has any. He does have bombs. Might be interesting to make bombs. Concentrated death roots extract. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to do anything like that. Oh, I was going to look up gifts and which ones I actually need. I forgot to do that. Well, anyway, all right. I'm going to sell stuff and I will be back with you guys when I'm done. There we go. All done, but I did remember, or I noticed while we were in, while I was selling stuff, that um, Havard's Igus, Alistair can't use that yet. It requires 22 strength. Okay. Definitely want to give him this when it gets, to, when he can actually use it. Because that's pretty good. Anyway. Okay, there. We're all set. We have done everything here. So, off we go. No, <laughs> no, no, no. I wanted to go to the bar one more time and actually check and make sure we don't need anything else so from Barlow. No make sure that he doesn't have anything. Any luck with that poison? Or well, you're here to see my stock. 
Right. I'm still looking for the... Oh, right. Well, <laughs> I forgot I didn't make poisons for him. Okay, well, show me what you've got. We have to make... What was it that we needed to make? I don't remember. Oh, I don't remember. Oh, no. Let's just quickly check his um, inventory first. Because I... Hmm. I want to just see. There we go. Lesser injury kit recipe. I wanted to buy that. So that we can make injury kits. Um, let's buy a few more flasks while we're here. Now that we have a little bit more money. Let's buy 10 more flasks. And yeah. I need to look up gifts. I don't want to leave any behind that are important. I don't think any of these are. But at the same time, I don't want to. Yeah. Hmm. Let's take a look at the poison that he needed. Um, well, first of all, we need the quest. Um, no, quests. Quests, quests, quests. Lothering. Poisons. We need to give him three flasks of venom. All right, let's see if we can make venom flasks. We can. Cool. So toxin extract makes venom. Nice to know. All right, Barlin, here you go. Any luck with that poison? Or are you here to see my stock? I have what you asked for. Splendid. If those beasties come on my land, I hope it teaches them a lesson. Yeah, enough gold to cover any of your expenses and then some. Hey! <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> All right. All right, um, now I'm going to just quickly research gifts um, so that I know which ones I should and shouldn't uh, care about. So I will be right back with you guys when I have finished that. Okie dokie. I have decided that any of these that Barlin has for sale, we don't need these. Because the thing is that I want to only give them, well, not strictly only, but mainly I only want to give them the gifts that trigger cutscenes with them. Because those gifts are the ones that mean the most to the characters. Um, and then you can actually talk to them and it's, it's a little bit more realistic. Um, the other gifts, you just give them to them in the inventory menu and it has their voice saying thank you or whatever and that's it there's no interaction with with the character actually and so it's kind of weird it's kind of just really impersonal um i may give them a couple of those types if we find ones that are very specific to the interests of that character that we know they would like it um and probably only if I find it, like, in a crate or something, you know? So, that's what I'm going to do. Because I don't... You can actually max out your affinity with each of these characters by just giving them gifts. And that's not something I want to do. I just don't like it. It's not very realistic. And not very immersive. And kind of feels like cheating a little bit. <laughs> so. Cousin in the Templars. All right. The we... The are done and we can leave Lothering because we bought all the backpacks. I can't remember if we actually bought a backpack from any of these people. I think maybe we did. I don't remember. You guys, I don't remember things. When they happened and the order they happened in. But anyway, none of them had backpacks for sale just now, so we got everything that we could possibly get that we needed or could afford. <laughs> All right, <clears throat> let us continue onward into the wide world. Dark spawn. They just crawl up everywhere, don't they? They sure do. I refuse. This dude is top. What did I just accidentally drink the potion? Ah, oh, did not mean to do that. What? I keep missing the dude. Come on. Uh. Woo. That 
close to you. Almost died. Whew. All right. So uh, we saved those people over there. A blood mage. A sealed letter. Oh. Maleficarum regrets. Shall we read it real quick? Hmm, I won't go back. Let them hunt and dread finding me. But you, Melis, should not live this life. It would please me if you found a life in the Circle Tower. I left a few things there, mostly stolen from the enchanters. Sell them to fund a new path. The cash is in the study area. Middle alcove. Goodbye, Bill Groose. She was a blood mage. Blood magic is the only illegal magic in the world. Yeah. Because you can summon demons through it, and it's very dangerous. Mighty timely ah. arrival there, my friend. I'm much obliged. Well, you're welcome. The name's Bodon Fedic, merchant and entrepreneur. This here is my son, Sandal. Say hello, my boy. Hello. Road's been mighty dangerous these days. Mind if I ask what brings you out here? Perhaps we're going the same way. <laughs> hmm... I doubt you want to travel with the Grey Warden. Grey Wardens? Hmm. My, that does rather explain a lot. No offense, but I suspect there's more excitement on your path than my boy and I can handle. Allow yeah. me to bid you farewell and good fortune, though. Goodbye. Now then, let's get this mess cleaned up, shall we? Indeed. Is this yours? Oh, look at that. <laughs> Small carved statuette gift. Now, I do happen to know that that one's for Alistair. Because he likes statuettes and carved things and whatever. We may give it to him. I don't know. Like I said, um, if I find it in a crate... I'm not going to spend money on the gifts. Even though they hardly cost anything. But, yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, is there anything over here? No. Just checking. You never know. Okay, let's continue on to the big map. Gather your party and venture forth. Bad dreams, huh? It seems so real. Well, it is real, sort of. You see, part of being a Grey Warden is being able to hear the Darkspawn. That's what your dream was, hearing them. Hmm. The Archdemon, it talks to the Horde, and we feel it just as they do. That's why we know this is really a blight. <clears throat> the Archdemon. Is that the dragon? I don't know if it's really a dragon, but it sure looks like one. But yes, that's the Archdemon. It takes a bit, but eventually you can block the dreams out. Some of the older Grey Wardens say they can understand the Archdemon a bit, but I sure can't. Anyhow, when I heard you thrashing around, I thought I should tell you. It was scary at first for me, too. Hmm. Any other surprises I should know about? Other than dying young and the whole defeat the blight alone thing? No. I'm all tapped out for surprises. Anyhow, you're up now, right? Let's pull up camp and get a move on. Uh, or not. Or not. We just got here. We literally just got to camp. So this is the party camp, you guys. And it will always look this way. It's the same everywhere you go. Uh, we can come back here at any point in the story and rest. If we have injuries from battle, they will be healed here. We can talk to our companions here. And they'll actually tell you stuff at camp that they won't tell you when we're out on the road. So that's something that we should definitely do, especially since we haven't actually gotten to know Liliana much or Sten and barely Morrigan. Uh, so we know Alistair a little bit more because he 
we've been with them the longest, but yeah, now we have a quest over here. These are the ah, dwarves. It's good to see you, my timely rescuer. Yeah. Bodon Fennec, at your service. Once again, I saw your camp and thought to myself, what safer place to rest for the evening than in the camp of a Grey Warden? I'm perfectly willing to offer you a fine discount for the inconvenience of our presence. Uh -huh. How does that sound? Good? Yes? Well, you're free to stay. Just mind yourselves. Wonderful. Thank the kind lady, won't you, boy? Thank you, kind lady. We won't be a bother to you and your companions, I assure you. If you should need enchantments, simply talk to my boy. Otherwise, come speak with me. Mm-hmm. So, his boy, Sandal, can enchant weapons and armors. So, let's give that a look, because we do actually have a couple runes that we could enchant. Um, something we have... Something we have has a rune slot, right? Was it the dagger or the... I don't remember. Let's take a look. Hello. The boy's a bit simple, but... He's rather good with enchantments. One of those tranquil fellas actually called him a... What was it now? A savant. Mm. I had no idea such a thing existed. Okay. What enchantments does he do? He can fold lyrium into almost any weapon or piece of armor. Though naturally some of the more extravagant materials will take more lyrium than others. It's a process that some of the master smiths back in Orzammar will perform. But my boy here is just as adept at it. Isn't that right, boy? Enchantment! And there you have it. Okay. I want some enchanting done. Enchantment! All right. Oathkeeper, right? Our new sword has rune slots. Right. Okay. So... Let's see. Let's see what runes we have. So, we have a novice slow rune, chance to reduce movement speed. A novice flame rune, plus one fire damage. And nom, a journeyman lightning rune, plus two electricity damage. <gasps> Which one should we use? Now, I happen to know <laughs> that enchanted weapons, once you enchant them with something like fire damage, they will be... They will have flames on them all the time, even when they're on your back. And lightning runes, weapons that have lightning runes on them, will have electrical sparks on them, when, even when they're on your back. So that could become annoying, but let's... I like the uh, electricity damage. Let's do that. All right. We can always remove it later if we don't like it, or if we get a better one. There it goes. Sparkling away. Kind of dangerous looking, huh? Now let's see what else he sells. If there's anything I can do for you, please, please tell me. Yes. What's your story exactly? Hmm. I suppose since you told me about you being a Grey Warden, it's only fitting for me to be as open. I am originally from Orzammar, the famed dwarven city that lies beneath the stately Frostback Mountains. Hmm. I was a merchant there, too. Merchant caste. These things are in the blood, you know. You can't just leave them behind. I ran a fairly successful business. Rare artifacts, you know. Old things, grand things. The nobles loved them. Reminded them of the lost glory days, I suppose. Yes. Lost glory. Our kingdoms once spanned the length of Thados, from majestic Orzammar to Kalsharok to glittering Darmalin far to the west. They say the gold and silver veins ran so thick through the stone of Darmalin that the entire city sparkled. The Darkspawn took it all, of course. One by one, the old tigers fell, and then all that was left was Orzammar. But we were talking about how I ended up here, weren't we? One day. <laughs> a noble woman came to my store. She looked around for a bit and then started shrieking in dismay. Apparently, she believed that a pair of braces I had for sale once belonged to her brother. 
He'd been lost in a cave-in, you see, while on an expedition to clear out the Darkspawn from one of the tunnels running close to the city. They were made specially for him. They're unique, she shrieked. He stole them from my poor brother's corpse. She had me arrested on the spot, of course. Nobles, they're touchy like that. Hmm. And did you steal them? Well, I didn't steal them. You see, I, I had been paying these castless thugs to venture out into the deep roads for me. The lost tigs. They're full of things that people left behind. Sometimes you can find a treasure. Something worth a little gold. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Better to do something with them than lead them to rot. That's exactly how I see it. The noblewoman, she wasn't too happy with the theft of her brother's braces. I don't know what they planned for me, and I didn't want to find out. Bribed the guard that was watching me and took off for the surface first opportunity I got. Never look back. Wow. And now, here you are. Yes, here I am. Now, is there anything the boy or I can get you? Well, um... You didn't mention your son in your tale. Ah, yes. I'm married to a fine woman back in Denerum, it's true. She'd give me a son if she could, but uh, that's not likely to ever be. Sandal here, I found him in the deep roads years ago. Abandoned, I think. And he was mm. never quite right in the head. I took him in, and I brought him with me when I came here to the surface. It yeah. may not be my blood, true. But I think of him as one. We left Orzammar. That's right, boy. Maybe one day we'll see it again. Well, that was generous of you. It's not as if I don't benefit, mind you. Turns out the boy's a natural working with enchantments. He might have even been leery addled. I never thought of that before, to be honest. Happens sometimes. He can work an enchantment into just about anything, however, given some time. Could probably open his own shop, if he knew how. Mm. Enchantment. <laughs> well, he does seem to enjoy it, at least. All right. Well, let me see your wares, Bodon. I'm sure you'll be pleased with the goods my boy and I have collected, and with your discount. Indeed. The discount is the thing. Wow, Earth Heart's portable bulwark. <laughs> nice. Hmm. So he doesn't have any weapons that we can actually use. Sylvan's Mercy, that is an expensive staff. Wow, it's a nice one though. Mm -hmm. Hmm, I don't know. All right. Conspirator foil. Hmm. Spirit hands. Light gloves. Now, I'm not sure how this works. So, if you have a set bonus, and I know the set bonus might not be, you know, all that it's cracked up to be. Like, maybe it's not even very big bonus. I wish it said exactly what bonus... Like, if you have a bonus to armor, I wish it would say how much of a bonus so that I could decide whether or not I'm willing to sacrifice that bonus to get something else. Like, you've got these special um, gloves, for instance, plus 5% critical backstab damage, rough hide. So... Yeah, I don't know. Like, are these are these considered the same as other rough hide? And if you have them, if you have an entire set of rough hide, do these count as a set bonus? I'm not sure. I don't know. Bard's dancing shoes, Drake skin. That's super expensive. That's nice though. So he, all of his stuff is, oh, he's got a collar for the dog. Nice. All of his stuff is unique items. And so I'm just wondering how we would wear them if, if a set bonus, I'm going to have to look that up. I want to know. <clears throat> Maybe set bonuses don't really matter that much. Interesting. He's got a lot of pendants too. Nature resistance, 
plus two willpower, plus one and a half stamina regeneration in combat. Increases monetary gain. Ha! Huh. That means we earn more from quests and we find more money on things. I might actually buy that. That might be... Let's just go ahead and get that one, yeah? Plus two ranged critical chance. That might be a good one to wear as well. Except you can't wear two belts. So it's either the monetary gain or this one. Although I could give this one to Liliana, I guess. Plus five fire damage. That's nice. Plus five percent cold damage. Hmm, cool. Yeah, let's get the longbowman's belt and give that one to um, Liliana. What else do you got? You've got all the regular stuff like that. We can always come back here and buy uh, health things if we need to. He also sells pretty much everything we need to make potions. And they sell lots of runes. Yeah. And a gift for somebody. I believe that is a gift for Morrigan. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these manuals, which are extremely... <gasps> Ooh, backpack. Oh, look at how expensive it is. It's going to use up almost all of our money to buy this one. Luckily, this one is available all the time because Bodan is going to stay here now. He's going. He's a permanent fixture in our camp and we can buy from him whenever we come back here. He's not going to leave. Until the end, <laughs> you know. Um, so we can always get this later if we want to. Um, I believe, but I'm not positive because I can't remember for sure. But I believe if you read these, it unlocks another. Um, it unlocks these specializations for you. But I'm not positive about that. But look how expensive they are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Good. Let's, um, let's equip, what was it? Did we buy anything for us? We bought, I honestly don't remember. Yes. Oops, wrong button. Yes, we did. We bought the Dwarven Merchant's Belt. So let's equip that. And we're going to give the Longbowman's Belt to Liliana, but we can't do that in camp because we can't access Liliana's... We can't access any of our companions' inventories while in camp, which is unfortunate because <laughs> we have to wait until we take them out somewhere to actually talk, to actually equip them with the things that we buy here. Which is a little bit annoying, but it is what it is. Let's talk to some of the companions, yes? Let's talk to Liliana, since we haven't really gotten to know her much. Yes? I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Okay. Um, this vision of yours. I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Hmm. So, you dreamed of the light? I suppose I did. That was what the darkness was, no? When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope. And beauty. Have faith. Hmm. And this made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? 
Hmm. Indeed. But the Chantry says that the Maker has left us. Which is true, that's part of the lore. The, the people of Thetis, Thetis is the world, uh, believe that the Maker has left them. That's part of their uh, religion. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, or what others tell me? Hmm. Well, believe what you feel right, what feels right to you, Liliana. Thank you. It's nice to find someone who agrees. I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. Ooh, she liked that. <laughs> yes. All right, let's talk to Sten. Why are we stopping? Uh, well, we're working together. I think I should get to know you. There are dark spawn to be fought. Is this delay needful? Well, we are stopping for the night. That's, you know. <laughs> I need to know if I can trust you at my back. I am Kunari. I have given my word to aid you. We are not people of idle promises. Okay. I've never seen a Kunari before. Tell me about your people. No. <laughs> no? Why not? People are not simple. They cannot be summarized for easy reference in the manner of the elves are a lithe, pointy-eared people who excel at poverty. <laughs> okay. You said you were in the army. I am. Have you ever fought in a war? I have always fought in war, human. Okay. So, you must know your way around a battlefield, then? Some of them. They aren't all alike. <laughs> Are you always this bad at answering questions? Generally. I do not see how this matters. Seheron and Parvolan are distant. Ferelden and the Darkspawn are immediate. Hmm. Are you all right? You were in that cage for weeks. You are concerned. No need. I am fit enough to fight. All right, then. Uh, I'll leave you alone. <laughs> As you wish. Oh, well, he liked some of what I said, apparently. <laughs> I don't know what. Maybe because I asked him if he was all right. Hmm. Let's go talk to Morrigan. Well, you have your own little tent and everything over here. And lots of potions. I have a mat on the ground with nothing over it, because apparently none of those tents over there are mine. What do you wish of me? Well, I'd like to ask you something. If you must. Hmm. How did you become a shape changer? Well, we don't even know she's a shape changer. What is it talking about? <laughs> That's kind of a weird question to have. It never once said that she could shape change. Hmm. Did you grow up in the Kokari Wilds? Why do you ask me such questions? I do not probe you for pointless information, do I? <laughs> I'm curious. What's wrong with that? Any number of cats could inform you of the answer to that question, but have it your way. What is it you asked if I grew up in the wilds? A curious question. Where else would you picture me? For many years <laughs> it was simply Flemeth and I. The wilds and its creatures were more real to me than Flemeth's tales of the world of man. In time, I grew curious. I left the wilds to explore what lay beyond, never for long. Brief forays into a civilized wilderness. Hmm. But you kept going back to the wilds. Would you not do the same? Your world is an unforgiving and cold place. The wilds I hail from is home to me and I a natural denizen. For all that I had been taught, however, the truth of the civilized lands proved to be overwhelming. I was unfamiliar with so much. So confident and bold was I, yet there was much that Flemeth could never have prepared me for. Hmm. I could imagine. I can imagine. I rather doubt that. Only once was I <laughs> accused of being a witch of the wilds, and that by a chastened who happened to be traveling with a merchant caravan. 
He pointed and gasped and began shouting in his strange language, and most assumed he was casting some curse upon me. I acted the terrified girl, and naturally, he was arrested. Hmm. Well, that was quick thinking. Men are always willing to believe two things about a woman. One, that she is weak, and two, that she finds him attractive. <laughs> I played the weakling and battered my eyelashes at the captain of the guard. <laughs> Child's play. The point being that I was able to move through human lands fairly easily. Whatever humans think a witch of the wild looks like, it is not I. Not that I did not have trouble. There are things about human society which have always puzzled me, such as the touching. Why all the touching for a simple greeting? <laughs> touching? Like a handshake? To begin with, yes. What is the point of touching my hand? I find it an offensive intrusion. There were many nuances that Flemeth could never tell me of. When to look into another's eyes. How to eat at a table. How to bargain without offending. None of these things I knew. Mm. I still do not understand it all, truth be told. But then I gave up long ago any hope of doing so. When I returned to the wilds last, I swore to Flemeth that I had no intention of leaving again. Hmm. But here you are. <laughs> yes, here I am. Well, let's get on with it before the ground opens up and swallows us, yes? Well, okay. Well, she liked something I said as well. Well, that's nice. I'm making friends instead of enemies. That's always a good thing. Usually when I talk to Sten in my playthroughs, I can never get him to like me. <laughs> he always disapproves of everything I say. So I don't know what I did different this time. All right, so let's talk to Alistair now. Since, I don't know. We might have more to talk to him about. What do you need? Oh, yes. We had this question to talk to him about Duncan. Well, now that we're in camp, that might be some a topic that that is suitable. It, it's, it felt like a weird topic when we were like out and about. Uh, just suddenly, randomly stop. Hey, Mouster, what do you, you want to talk about Duncan right now while we're exploring Denerim? Or not Denerim. That's not what I meant to say. <laughs> Lothering. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no. That's weird. But in camp. While we're sitting around the campfire. It's more appropriate. Yes. Do you want to talk about Duncan? You don't have to do that. I know you didn't know him as long as I did. Oh, well... He was like a father to you. I understand. I... I should have handled it better. Duncan warned me right from the beginning that this could happen. Any of us could die in battle. I shouldn't have lost it, not when so much is riding on us, not with the blight and... and everything. I'm sorry. Yeah, but you... there's no need to apologize. I'd like to have a proper funeral for him. Maybe once this is all done, if we're still alive. I don't think he had any family to speak of. Hmm... Well, he had you. I suppose he did. It probably sounds stupid, but part of me wishes I was with him. In the battle. I feel like I abandoned him. Hmm. No, I... I understand completely. Of course. I'd be dead then, wouldn't I? It's not like that would make him happier. I think he came from High Ever. Or so he said. Really? Maybe I'll go up there sometime. See about putting up something in his honor. That's where I'm from. I don't know. <laughs> Have you had someone close to you die? Not that I mean to pry, I'm just... Uh... Yes. <coughs> My entire family was murdered. Just <coughs> recently. Oh. Oh, of course. How stupid of me to forget. Here I am, going on and on about Duncan, and you... I am so sorry. Thank you. Really, I mean it. It was good to talk about it, at least a little. Hmm. You know, maybe I'll go to High Ever with you, when you go. I'd like that. So would he, I think. Hmm. Oh, wow. Alistair approves plus six. <laughs> Well, you know, all you have to do is be sympathetic 
I mean, seriously, he's grieving. Morrigan's so mean. I'm expecting him to not grieve whatsoever for Duncan, who is basically his father figure. <clears throat> Can we talk to the, the dog? Oh, why you little? <laughs> what? What happened? Your furry friend here took offense at me getting near his food. He snapped at me. Look. <laughs> um, good boy. Teach that silly Alistair a lesson. <laughs> Sometimes I forget that he's a war dog. That'll teach me. <laughs> That's right. I remember that. Every time you talk to the dog, you get a different companion interacting with them. Well, you guys. <clears throat> This is where we're going to end today's episode because I believe we've gone over time. Well, so next episode, we will be heading off to one of the locations that we need to head off to. And we will find out what that location is in the next episode. If you enjoyed today's episode, everybody, please leave a comment or a like, and I will see you next time. Until then, remember to play safe, play nice, and have fun, everyone. Bye.